so now we are going to discuss fringe metal angina we are going to discuss fringe metal angina fringe metal angina before going what is happening actually happening in fringe metal angina i i i am i will explain what is muscle tone because mechanism of fringe metal angina it is totally depends on unstable tone of the coronary artery so i will define the tone the muscle tone is nothing it is <coughs> continuous passive partial contraction of the muscle muscle tone muscle tone is continuous passive partial contraction of muscle contraction of muscle muscle tone is continuous we know the coronary artery has media which has the smooth muscle cell plenty of smooth muscle cell and so every muscle of the body is in a state of partial contraction that is continuous so what happened in fringe metal angina that coronary artery coronary artery tone is unstable you will understand see the coronary artery if this one is if if suppose this one is left atrium and this one is lv this one is aorta lv wall of the lv is thick suppose the coronary artery is sub endocardial in location sub epicardial coronary artery located sub epicardially suppose here is the coronary artery this one is the coronary artery and this coronary artery supply this segment of the myocardium of the heart i am enlarging this segment of myocardium here if suppose this one is coronary artery this one is lumen of the coronary artery and coronary artery has the smooth muscle cells in the media is smooth muscle cells in the media and mainly smooth muscle cell of the coronary artery has two type of receptor two type of receptor that is alpha receptor alpha receptor alpha receptor alpha receptor and and beta 2 receptor beta 2 receptors beta 2 receptors beta 2 receptors usually what happens that number of or number of total number of alpha 1 receptor is almost equal to number of beta 2 receptor in the coronary artery so the effect the effect of alpha 1 we know that alpha 1 causes vasoconstriction vasoconstriction and beta 2 causes vasodilation vaso dilation so when the alpha 1 receptor is equal to beta 2 receptor this vasoconstriction will be 
cancelled by the effect of alpha 1 receptor that is vasoconstriction will be cancelled by will be cancelled by effect of beta 2 receptor that is vasodilation <coughs> usually there is coronary artery is not on mercy of autonomic nervous system the coronary artery status status of coronary artery depends on local metabolites that is vasodilation that is the dilation or contraction of the coronary artery depends on local metabolites released by the myocardium and not by the autonomic nervous system but in some unfortunate patient but in some unfortunate patient that is the in patients of fringe metal angina patient of pink metal angina the alpha 1 receptor alpha 1 receptor is far greater than beta 2 receptor is far greater than beta 2 receptor that lead that causes that has the tendency that causes in coronary artery vasoconstriction the coronary artery of these patients fringe metal angina patient has tendency to vasoconstrict that is tone of the coronary artery becomes unstable tone of the coronary artery become unstable unstable What are the presentation of fringe metal angina patients? The fringe metal angina patients usually has very less atherosclerotic stenosis or at all there is no atherosclerotic lesion in the coronary artery of the fringe metal angina patient and these angina that is the chest pain is not precipitated by exertion or variation in blood pressure or hypertension <clears throat> and if and the angina pain is not relieved it is not relieved by rest not relieved by relieving the exertion and even if the pain is precipitated if the angina pain is precipitated by exertion it is not relieved by taking rest and uh, the pain of the fringe metal angina is very much prolonged and it is more common in it is more common in female while the classical while the classical angina that is the angina of atherosclerotic lesion is usually relieved by pain the treatment now i will tell you the treatment and tricks to treat the fringe metal angina Usually the angina patient in the angina patient we, will, we are giving nitrates in also fringe metal angina nitrates relieves coronary spal and patient gets symptomatic relief fringe metal angina patient Arteriolar dilator that is calcium channel blocker, calcium ion channel blocker, mainly knife defined amlodipine. and and avoid and please avoid beta blocker beta blocker avoid in big letter avoid now why beta blocker should be avoided avoided 
इन प्रीमिटल इंजाइना पे सेट ओके इन 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 क्लासिकल एंजाइना पेशेंट इन क्लासिकल एंजाइना पेशेंट बीटा ब्लॉकर इज यूज्ड व्हाट हैपेंस दैट यूज ऑफ बीटा ब्लॉकर यूज ऑफ बीटा ब्लॉकर कॉजेज बीटा ब्लॉकर यूज ऑफ बीटा ब्लॉकर इन क्लासिकल एंजाइना क्लासिकल एंजाइना पेशेंट बीटा ब्लॉकर कॉजेज रिडक्शन ऑफ हार्ट रेट बीटा ब्लॉकर कॉजेज रिडक्शन और डिक्रीज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रेक्टिलिटी ऑफ द मायोकार्डियम एंड इफ इफ यू आर डिक्रीजिंग द हार्ट रेट एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्टिलिटी ऑफ द मायोकार्डियम इनिशियली द हार्ट इज कॉन्ट्रेक्टिंग लाइक दैट एंड नाउ यू हैव गिवेन द बीटा ब्लॉकर एंड नाउ हार्ट इज कॉन्ट्रेक्टिंग लाइक दैट slowly very slowly so that to work by the myocardium this beta blocker decreases work done by work done by myocardium and decrease work by the myocardium causes less less demand by the myocardium less demand by the myocardium by the heart and now after giving the beta blocker and reduction of heart rate reduction of contractility decreases decreases work capacity uh, decreases work done by the myocardium and decreases demand by the myocardium now the stenosed coronary artery now the stenosed obstructed coronary artery the amount of blood flowing through that is matching is now matching to the demand by the myocardium and this matching of demand and supply by the by the coronary artery demand by the myocardium and supply by the coronary artery if it match then then angina pain will be relieved that's why we are using beta blocker in classical angina patient but but it should not be used in 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 prenatal angina patient why see if this is coronary artery and this is lumen is smooth muscle these are the smooth muscle in the coronary artery media and this is alpha 1 alpha 1 alpha 1 alpha 1 and and alpha 1 alpha 1 alpha 1 and beta 2 receptors beta 2 receptor beta 2 receptor beta 2 receptor alpha 1 and usually the alpha 1 and alpha 2 is almost equal in amount but in prenatal angina patient alpha 1 is far greater than beta 2 alpha 1 vasoconstriction vaso const causes vaso constriction beta 2 causes vaso dilation you know the alpha 1 receptor is also far greater in some other part of the body like skin renal arteries renal vessels and mesenteric artery while the beta 2 beta 2 receptor dominates in skeletal muscle <clears throat> so if alpha 1 is far greater than beta 2 and patient has angina patient has prenatal angina and now you are going to give beta blocker if you are going to give the beta blocker if you are blocking this receptor 
then the action of then the action of alpha 1 then the action of alpha 1 unopposed action of alpha 1 will cause severe vasospastic severe vasospasticity in the coronary artery and the partially obstructed coronary artery now will be converted into totally occluded very severely occluded coronary artery and partial ischemia or partial infarction may convert may convert in transmural infarction and after transmural infarction due to severe ischemia due to severe ischemia for more than 20 minutes if the ischemia is more than 20 minutes the ischemia usually gets start getting converted into infarction so these severe ischemia causes arrhythmia very severe arrhythmia and even patient may die so beta blocker is usually avoided beta blocker is usually avoided in the pre-metal angina patient it should not be used it should not be used in fringe metal angina patient in next class we will discuss other type of angina thanks for watching the video